Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a late slide rest in Kitsia Wave 5. On the right side you can see the completed assembled late slide rest with all the parts being assembled together and on the left side you can see the different drawings which are required to design the late slide, the late slide rest. I want to show you this is the assembled drawing and you can see the bill of materials right here right now let me come into the uh, drawing and I'll just show you the part that we are going to design this is a complete part that we're going to design this tutorial series explains you all the different parts which are involved in the late slide rest and this one this particular part is the compound slide rest and this is the fourth part of our tutorial for designing the compound slide rest and we are over here now the next thing we need to do is we're going to insert another body and I'm going to I'm going to define and work object click over here and give sketch so once I define in work object whatever I do will be coming under this this particular body now what you're going to do is uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just use a centered rectangle and this particular distance is 24 this particular distance is also 24 so just give 24 and 24 over here also and this distance is 48 just come out of the sketch and do a pocket make sure you're doing a pocket <coughs> of uh, 40 just give 40 here we have done a pocket over there we know that uh, this is being done in another part so that's the reason the pocket is not going to be uh, happening over here you have to assemble this pocket so that uh, we get the effect of the pocket over there and uh, that's all for this particular part of our tutorial to design the uh, compound slide base of lathe slide rest in Kitsia V5. If you have any doubts or clarifications in this particular part of the tutorial, please write below on the video and I'll be getting in touch with you. And if you have any CAD projects, you can write to me at kitsia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next parts of the tutorials.